Okay, so let's go up. We've got our title here and we got types of volcanoes. This is already looking very beautiful, by the way. I really like this slate that we've gone with here. It looks very nice. I'm gonna close that just so we have a bigger area to work with. That's looking really nice. So the first one we're gonna work with is cinder cones. Okay, so let's go out to Google Images and let's look for cinder cone volcano. Okay. So now, um, if you remember from our last lesson about doing image searches, let's go to Tools and tell it we want Size Large, because we don't want to risk having something that's really pixelated and low resolution, and so we don't want that there. Okay, so this one looks like a computer-generated one, so we don't want that one. Okay, and now let me just read the description. It says, these are volcanoes formed from particles and blobs of lava Ejected from a single vent, they generally don't get taller than around a thousand feet. That one's looking very tall. Okay, now this. Yeah, I like that one there. This one looks, that one looks nice. Okay, the resolution looks good. Everything about this looks good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the submenu by doing a two finger tap on our trackpad or a right click on our mouse. And we're going to open that in a new tab. Okay. And here it is right here, new tab. I'm going to get the address up here and I'm going to copy that address. I'm gonna go back to my presentation and I'm gonna to go to the back page here. And I'm going to paste that into there. So that's our first image used. Okay, go back to my cinder cones, go back to my, my image here. And I'm going to now open up the submenu by do a two finger tap or a right click on the mouse and I'm gonna save that image to downloads. Okay, now, like I said, there's lots of different ways. We could have clicked on this, you know, insert image right here, and um, we could have done a search for the web within Google Slides here, but we don't get a chance to credit the images and your teacher's not gonna really like that. So we're going to um, upload from our computer. So we've already saved it to our downloads folder, and now we can upload that um, uh, using that command, or we can just drag and drop. I can open up the downloads folder and drag it onto that slide. See that? Now, don't accidentally drag your whole folder onto that slide, okay? That's, that's a really common mistake, but don't do that, okay? I've done that, don't do it. Because you just say, wait, you look down there and you see, that's the volcano I need, let's go. No, 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 no. Uh, make sure to open it first and then drag it over. In the next one, I'll show you the other way of doing it too, but this is just the drag and drop method and now we have our volcano. Now, it put it up here in this top corner and I kind of like it up there. We have options of moving it around and we could center it. You see that little red line pops up? That tells us that it's been centered, but I kind of like where it put it. Uh, let me undo those two changes that we did there. I don't mind it being up in that corner, just aesthetically it looks kind of pretty up there and I like that, okay? Let's go ahead and do another one here, see if you can remember what we're doing here. So I'm gonna close this tab here because we don't need this one anymore. Go all right, let's do the next one here, the composite volcanoes, and I'll show you another way to bring in a photo there. So um, let's go back to our Google search. Let's search for that composite volcano. And it says here um, these can grow huge, so we want something really depicting being tall here. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Well, this one's got watermarks all over it, so that's a no. I don't really want a nighttime. Okay, that's looking tall. That's looking tall with the clouds. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I wish, yeah, that one, I mean, that looks tall. That's definitely for sure, but let's go try to find something. Just scrolling through them. Ooh, I like this one of Mount Fuji. because we got clouds below it. It's really tall. Okay, so this one is the one I'm going to want to use. Open up the submenu. Again, we just do a two-finger tap on our trackpad or a right-click on our mouse. And let's go to Open Image and New Tab. Go over to here and copy the address. Back to our presentation, back down here to photo credits, and click in this text box here. If you're not down below it, like if your cursor is up here, just go ahead and press enter on your keyboard so you get down below it. And I'm going to paste that, press uh, enter on my keyboard again, and there we are. So that we've got the credit there. And let's go back to our slide and go get our image. So I'm going to uh, open up the submenu, save image to downloads, and there we go, we've got it. And back to our slide. Let's do a little bit different way. Let's go ahead and uh, um, pull a little menu down here. And we want to upload from our computer. And here are the ones that um, have come in. You know, they're in my today. I'm in the downloads folder, obviously. And here's the things from today that I've been downloading. And there's our Mount Fuji. 
So I'm going to put that in there. Again, you know, don't don't get happy about resizing these. Or I mean, I don't mind if you centered it. Uh, I like how it kind of pushes everything to the left. But really trust the template that it's going to put the photos in well. And I really like how this this is looking right here. Okay, so we've got that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video in just a moment and, and go put all the photos in. I don't think you need to watch me put all the photos in. I did want to show you, um, I'm going to go one slide after interesting facts. And in my notes here, the first interesting fact is that there's the tallest volcano that we know of is on um, Mars. And now we don't have a text on here at all. We're, we're going to just put a photo up. So let's go ahead and get that one. I'm going to close the tab here. And go back to Google Image and let's search for uh, Mars uh, volcano. Okay. Um, ooh, that looks good. That definitely is. Ooh, I really like this first one. It's great. Okay. Doesn't really show its height very good though. Maybe none of these will. Just. I think that first one is going to be the one we want right there. Okay. Um, well, actually, if we go to the next one. This one is actually labeled Olympus Mon. So this is for sure the one. So let's go ahead and take this one. Let's um, open image in new tab. Go ahead and copy that address. Put that in our photo credit down here. You guys getting the hang of this now? All right. Go back to what we interesting facts. And we're one after the interesting facts. And now let's um, just save to downloads. Back to our presentation. Okay, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I think you understand now how I'm putting the images in and how I'm crediting each image. When we come back in the next video, all my images are going to be in there. So you go ahead and do all of yours now. I'm going to do all of mine. We get back and you can see what mine are going to look like. Remember, you do not have to use the exact same images that I'm using. Just something close for your volcano presentation would be fine. Just make sure they don't have watermarks on them and that they're high resolution, high def photos. Okay, I'll see you in a moment. Uh, good luck with your photos and I'll get back to you in just a second. Hey, if you're like me and you run out of space on your photo used page, uh, just go ahead and add another one. Just go ahead like this, boom, photos used, and here we go. I can just add some more. So I'm going to have two pages of photos used. Oh, your teacher's going to love that.